Now my mom was suspicious. Tim, let me see your head. No, it's okay, mom. I'm fine. Move your cap now. So I move my hand. When I was a kid, my parents had two rules when it came to your body. Rule number one, no tattoos. That's right, ink in God's temple was the ultimate no-no. And rule number two, no body piercings. That means no earrings, nose rings, belly rings, eye rings, or whatever else you kids are into. Now, I was cool for the most part. Getting permanent ink wasn't in my bucket list of things to do, especially since most people get the dumbest tattoos in their youth. Hey Chris, you got a new tat? Oh snap! What's it say? It's Chinese, dog? A word? So what is it? I don't know. But it's dope, right? Fan. What if it says chicken noodle soup or something? Now, since I wasn't into tattoos, my focus was getting my ears pierced. But I feel you damn tough. Why were your parents so strict about getting your ears pierced? See, here's the thing. First, I got old school thinking parents, in which, according to them, earrings are only meant for girls. That's right, in their mind, boys getting earrings was a no-no, which I couldn't disagree more. See, people wear earrings for different reasons. Some do it for religious purposes, others do it for traditional intentions, and some even do it as a symbol of wealth. Now, when it comes to your boy, I did it because, she I thought earrings were cool. See, I grew up listening to hip-hop music, and if you know anything about rap music, you know it's all about the bling bling. Now, don't get me wrong, sure, I couldn't afford the diamond crusted earrings but you gotta remember i was the fugazi king everything i rocked was unquestionably 100 dead fake and guess what my guy you wouldn't even know the difference see the problem is we're living in a period where people only care about others perceptions of them people are too busy buying things they can't afford just to impress people they don't even know so for this story i'm gonna take you back back to the first time i pierced my ears so one day i was chilling with my boy chris now just like usual every weekday at 6 p.m chris and i will watch 106 in part now for the ones who know Y'all yeah, know, 106 was the most important show to watch in the 2000s. Now for the uninformed, 106 in part was a TV show that focused on showing the top 10 popular music videos. See, these were the days before YouTube, back when the only way to watch your favorite artist was to wait until they came on television. So we're chilling watching TV. Then my homie Chris was like, damn, Tim, you ever thought about getting your ears pierced? Nah, see, I don't know if my parents would let me do it. You too, bro? Look, how about we ask him and maybe they'll let us do it. So a few hours later, my mom gets home and I decide to ask her. Hey mom, I just finished my homework. Oh great son. I also got an A on my math test. Wow, really? See, in order to pop the question, you gotta soften up the mood just to make her feel comfortable. So mom, I was thinking, since I've been doing really good in school and I haven't gotten in any trouble, I thought you could maybe let me pierce my ear? What? Why would you want to do that? Cause I think it's cool. Look son, earrings are for girls. Now are you a girl? Well, no. Then we're done here. Okay. Now since my plan didn't work, I got to my room and started pondering. Damn, Tim, mom's tripping. You have to be a girl to get an earring. Man, I can't wait to turn 18 and move out this big. So on to the next day and my homie Chris comes back to the crib. Yo, Chris, what your mom say? Man, she said, hell no. Damn, mom too. So what we gonna do? Guess we just wait till we turn 18. Now you gotta remember, I was the kid that always had to push my parents' limits. Sometimes a no means I'ma do it anyway. So watch you at the crib, an idea came to mind. I got it. What? How about we pierce our ears ourselves? What? How we gonna do that? I don't know. I'm thinking we need something sharp. Something that everyone has in their house. Hmm. Okay, what about scissors? Nah, can't use that. Okay, um, a fork? Oh, stupid. Got it. How about we use a knife? You sure? Yeah, it can't be that hard. So I got to the kitchen, picked the knife, and got back to my room. Okay, Chris, you go first. Hell no. Nah. It was your idea? Bro, stop being a b and do it. Fine, I'll go first. Okay, Tim, just do it fast, and you'll be good. Oh, sh it's gonna hurt. But you're gonna look cool as hell, dog. So I got the knife, closed my eyes, and smashed it right into my ear. Ow! 
Yo, that hurt. No, I'm sure by now you already know that's not going to work. See, it takes a lot of pressure to pierce the skin from one end to the other. Damn, kid. You're bleeding. Did I get it through? Uh, no. Damn. Now, since the knife wasn't working, we had to come up with a second option. I got it, fam. Why don't you just use your mom's ear and it'll poke it through your ear? Oh, yeah. So I go to my mom's room, picked up one of her earrings, and started the process again. Okay, Chris, you got to do it. So Chris gets the earring. I close my eyes. Okay, on the count of three. One. And this fool sticks the earring as hard as it could. Ow! Damn, kid. It worked. Really? So I looked in the mirror, and there it was. Yo! It really worked. Oh, I'm getting all the shorties now. Now here comes the problem. See, when you first pierce your ears, you have to keep the earring on until your body adapts to it. Usually takes about six weeks. Now keeping this earring a secret for six weeks, mm, that's a hassle. So on to the night. Now just like usual, we will eat dinner in the evening. Now since I didn't want my parents to see the brand new me, I decided to skip dinner by acting sick. Okay, cool. Day number one was a success. All I got is five weeks, six days, 23 hours, and 59 seconds left. So on to day number two. So I'm in my room chilling. Then I hear my mom call me to a room. Tim? Yes, mom. Damn. Okay, Tim. Then great. Just with a scully and mom won't see the earring. So I get to my parents' room all while rocking my scully. Yes, mom? Hey, can you hand me the remote? Oh, God. Did this woman just call me here to hand her the remote? Tim. Oh, sorry, mom. So I get the remote, hand it to my mom. Are you okay? Yes. Then why are you wearing a hat? Oh, I'm just a little cold. So I go back to my room. Whew, that was a close one. Now, just like the previous day, I decided to skip dinner once again. Now, this is where I messed up. See, skipping dinner two days in a row alarmed my parents. So my mom comes to my room. Are you okay? Yes, mom, I'm okay. Are you still cold? Uh-huh. Let me take a look. No, I mean, I'm fine, mom. Now my mom was suspicious. Tim, let me see your head. No, it's okay, Mom. I'm fine. Move your cap now. So I moved my hand, and Mom's finally saw the piercing. What did you do? Now I already knew I'm about to get my ass beat. So my mom looked deep into my eyes, and she was devastated. Tim, how could you? I asked you not to get a piercing, and you went behind my back and still did it? This really hurt, son. You've really disappointed me. Mom, I'm sorry. So my mom turned around and just left. See, sometimes words can hurt a child deeper than hitting could. See, physical punishments eventually heal, but internal wounds last a lifetime. And it was at this moment that I learned a very important lesson in life. Yeah, I sure love not getting whooped. So this is how white kids feel. Thank God. <laughs> Thought she was going to kill me. So, moral of the story. Sometimes, being different isn't always a bad thing. It only means you're brave enough to be yourself. What's up, world? Thank you for joining your boy for another video. <laughs> your boy made it out without an ass whooping. Now, kids, always listen to your parents. Now, let's get straight to the shout outs. This week's first shout out goes to my guy. Jaden Clark, what's up, homie? Oh, I see you, fam. You doing your thing on IG. Well, follow the youngin' on IG as Jaden.Clark.963871. Keep shining, young king. Second shout out goes to a fellow animator. Okay, Axel, what's up, kid? I see you on that grind. Well, let's show the kid some love and follow him on IG and on his YouTube channel as Axel Animation. Keep grinding, bro. And that shout out goes to the one and only Des. What's up, kid? We got an athlete in the building. Well, follow the kid on IG as Cozy dot underscore D underscore. Keep doing your thing, bro. If you want a chance to win a shout out, subscribe to the channel, follow your boy on IG, and send me that screenshot. As always, live timeless.